So, Pedro, first of all, congratulations on signing your professional contract at the club. How does it feel? Uh, it's a very proud, very big and proud moment for me and my family. Um, a lot of sacrifices were made. I want to thank the club first as well for trusting my abilities and, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. I mean, your Exit City journey started uh, with you being a trialist in our Devon Bowl game in January of last year as well. So, what was that experience like for you, you know, coming, coming here and... I'm saying my tribe ups and downs, came in injured, sprained ankle, hop, eyes, hops, lows. Um, it was difficult in the beginning, but I remember that final I played as a striker. I normally don't play there. I was a, it was a tough game playing against men, but at the end of the day, good experience and just happy to be here. And obviously that trial must have gone well. I mean, what, what was said to you after the game and how you came to join the academy? Yeah. It was always positives, really. Never really negatives, just people tell me things I need to work on and et cetera, but it's always positives. I just thought it would be the right club to come into and I would have a right future here. And obviously you spent your youth career, the start of it in Portugal as well, yeah. uh, before coming over to England. I mean, how do the two compare and kind of how did that affect the player you are today? It's really different, really. Um, I thought, I would say I thought I was really good in Portugal, but then I came in, it's different, different game, different culture. I remember I played, I played grassroots for a year, just playing Sunday League was like, physically, it was just different really, but I just adapted to it and I was quite big already. So it was, I would say it was quite easy to adapt to the English game. And you're familiar with the area before you came here, obviously being at Yeovil Town as well. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say so. I came in, my English was all right. Um, it's much better now, but it's a really good area to be in now. Awesome. Um, I mean, how have you found being part of the academy um, since you've been here? I just feel like this this club just gives opportunity to the young players. That's one of the reasons why I decided to sign here, firstly as a scholar. Um, just I'm really close to the first team as I'm really close to uh, the 18s. It's like it's easy to get into people, if that makes sense. So uh, staff, they help a lot. First team staff, 18 staff. Whenever I need some help, I'll ask them. And it's, they always try and help as much as they can. And Brad himself had some great things to say to you when we spoke to him about you, um, about your character, about how hard you've worked to take this opportunity. Is that what you base your game on, you know, just like the dedication and yeah, hard just, work? Yeah, so I feel like if you work hard, you always get rewarded. Obviously, you have to be good technically and mentally, but at the end of the day, if you work hard, it's always going to pay off. Um, and you got your first taste of first team action already yeah. under your belt this season. Uh, late sub against Newport and you and you came on for the last half an hour against yeah. Southampton as well. I mean, how was that playing with those first team guys? It's a real experience at first when I came in, it came on against Newport. I remember I was supposed to come on around half time, but then we conceded obviously it's going to be loads of pressure for me, but it's a real experience coming on so, so young and so early. It's like one year into my scholarship, I made my first team debut. It was just a surreal moment for me and my family. And you um, have also had another taste of men's football, having a bit of a spell down at Plymouth Parkway as well. Yeah, uh, Did you find that beneficial at all? Yeah, it was. I would say it was beneficial. I didn't get much playing time, but it was really good like to play against men week in and week out, come off the bench, have to make an impact. It just gets me closer to getting into the first team here. And you've um, been trained with the first team in that as well this season. I mean, how have you found that and kind of the difference between, you know, your under 18s training and the first team? I'd say um, technically not that far apart both, but it's just physically and like you know, everything's so much quicker. But obviously it's going to help me play men's football and hopefully be involved with the first team more in the future. And seeing the likes of Alex Hartridge, Archie Collins, Josh Key, Harry Kite, Jack Sparks, just to name a few, you know, come through the academy and become first, regular first team players. Does that kind of spur you on to kind of copy what they've done? As I said, it's one of the main reasons why I signed here. It's a very big club in terms of like giving young players opportunities. And I know if I stay here and I work hard, keep my head down, I'll get my opportunity as well. And you mentioned at the start, but I mean, what did your family say when you broke the news that you signed that professional contract? My dad teared up a little bit, but obviously he's going to cry. It's a very big moment for me and my family. Just happy to be here and keep working and the opportunity will come. And what are your personal aims, you know, for the rest of the season and going forward, would you say? Um, I would say play a few more matches with the first team, get a few minutes here and there for the, towards the end of the season, score a few goals and yeah, just keep working. Next season, big season coming. And uh, um, has Gary spoken to you much when you signed and since you signed the contract? Yeah, just I, I thank him. He said, oh, you don't need to thank me, thank yourself. Because in the other day, if I wasn't good enough, they wouldn't give me the opportunity. But it's just very good manager to speak to us young players, not just me, everyone when we train with the first team a lot. And it just gives us confidence. To, and like he tells us that we're capable of making the first team and playing regularly. Thank you, Pedro, and congratulations. Thank you. Cheers.